Hello and welcome to our VT Studio introduction training. Today we're going to create a new test case in VT Studio. So let's start. We have here our seat test project which we created in the last lesson. Here we have all the environments which we need. Uh, here we have the test unit. So in order to create our test case we need to add a test table. Let's name it seat tests. Here we have the file and automatically it's opened. Here we have the test execution tree, the test tree. Here we will have all the test cases we create. So if we right click we have the option to add test case. Of course you can use the commands from the keyboard. Um, let's call it dummy test case. Okay, and here you have your test case. Here you have the details of your test cases. The, some information you can add at your in your test case. So here is the caption, the name of the test case. You can say it. You can change it. Here is the test case ID. This is automatically generated. Uh, you cannot change it. Uh, but you can, if you right click here, you can assign new test case ID. Okay, and I think it done something, I don't know. Um, not so important this topic. You have different properties here. You have a description, you can add a description on your test case. Um, here try to not use some special characters, something like this, because I in, in the past I had some issues. I used some characters here in the description and uh, the build was failed in the canoe, in canoe and I it was hard to find the, the error so try to use it simple just a statement with a dot at the end and that's it um, break on fail you can use it I don't like this option in uh, in uh, VT Studio it means that if you use this option uh, at the first step when you will have a fail the test will stop so it won't go to the end I don't use this so it's up to you. You have some info. You can put a name and description. For example, here, item, trace items. Here you can import. After you import uh, from uh, traceability and documentation, after you import your trace item from uh, doors, uh, you will have the possibility to choose here. So you, you cannot, we do not have any trace item imported, so we cannot add them. Um, some variables if you want to use variant dependencies. This is really nice. You can um, organize your test cases based on different variants. So maybe you test different uh, two variants of your project and you have some test cases which are applicable for one and other test cases which are applicable applicable for the other or for both so you can set your applicable variant let's say so you put here a, you create a sysvar and here you can add the variant dependency uh, you can create it from project configuration variant properties add the variant properties let's say like this I will build the project and when you build the project you can add here the value of your variant property so you can use this for the first variant of your software and you create another one for your second or third or how many do you, do you have and this is easy when you select your test cases in canoe you can easily select them from um, in um, in the test unit configuration in Kano, so you select all all one variant or you select both variants. So it's good to know. Um, you can add multiple conditions here, so you add more. Sorry, I put it on the variables now. Here you need to put your variant dependency. Those here are variables, so it, it's different, and you can put. Uh, and or X or within your variants so in the, based on how you want to select them when you execute the test cases have some preconditions here honestly I didn't use it and external references you can 
add some details maybe for your test case or you can add a link here with picture or something or type title owner yeah some more details if you want to add your in your test case you can create a test case attributes let's see if I create this I, I will build include um, files okay let's see you have created the test case attribute and it's here so you can you can add some attributes here by, like this so you put your name here so this will appear to each test case you create by default so let me create another one here in the test tree so you have the tester name so uh, from here basically you can uh, create test case attributes and you can make them enumeration if you want or string so basically you can add as many as you want attributes on your test cases to have more details or something generic okay so um, yes those are the information you put on your test case so let's go back to our dummy test case um, here you can add um, sorry it's, uh, the test case it's closed uh, you can add preparation, completion, and you can insert comments. So the preparation it's uh, re regarding the um, uh, regarding the precondition of the test cases. So in the preparation you will add your preconditions. So setting some signals, turn on the ECU, and so on. Um, if you insert a command here, let's put a wait. Um, you can close it and you insert another command here wait uh, and insert a command here oh, wait and you can see that you have um, your uh, test commands in different places so this wait it's in the preparation on the preconditions this is in the main part of the test case where you have all the test steps and this one is in the completion so it's easy to distinguish the precondition the post condition and the main block of the test case so really nice to use it like this when you create a test case you can refactor to test case definition assign new test case id expand collapse all you can collapse or expand your test case cut copy paste it's easy to just copy your test case and paste it and create a new test case just changing the name and some other um, other test steps you can comment your test case and when you comment your test case you won't be able to see it in um, the the canoe when you execute the test cases and of course you can delete it. if you don't need your test case you can delete it here we can add as many test cases we, 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 we want uh, test sequence uh, what is the difference between test sequence and test case so in a test case you cannot insert a new test case here you can just insert commands those are test steps but in a test sequence so you can add fast test case add preparation insert command and add test case so the test sequence it's a combination between test cases and test commands so you can put them both inside of it so this is the strong part of the test sequence um, we have test fixture uh, we have a test group so you can group your tests in some folders we can say let's do another folder here and another test case so you can group them as as you want the text fixture I think it's um, a little different a little different not so many difference I think the test fixture is more a level up than the test group so I think this is the only difference you don't have any other difference between 
And of course, here we have test sequence definition and test case def definitions and function definitions. I will show you the test case definition, why it's important and why we can use this. Um, so the main difference between a simple test case and a test case definition is that in the test case definition, you have the possibility to have parameters. So here you can you have now no, no value or x or whatever. You can put here as many parameters you want, int, float, string, and you have more data types to use here. You can choose. Uh, so the strong part of this is that you can um, use a function as a function definition in order to test different values. So you want to test 100 values for a signal, you just create a single test case and you add parameters. So you add the parameters from 0 to 100 and you don't need to create the same test case here over and over 100 times because it will, it will be crazy to have the same test case, you can do it just once. You create your test cases, your test case only once, and after that you put your parameters here and um, you just play the test cases. You just, we, we will have some exa examples in the future lessons with parameters and uh, test case definition to show you how easily you can use it and how useful it is in, in many, many conditions, in many, situations. Okay, so this is the test creation lesson, how you create a test, a new test case in VT Studio. Um, here you can add the test case, test sequence, picture, picture, and test group. So it's really easy to use. Don't forget, use copy-paste when you have similar test cases, don't do it again. Use the preparation and completion, those are very useful. Um, parts of the test case definition.